bless your heart. Know something? <laughs> hey, folks. Thanks. Thanks. I, I, I love you, too. L let me just tell you something real important. All of you. Bobby June, I'm a big fan of your immunization fight. A big fan. Because I think we're all sick of government telling us how to live, where we can drive, what we can put into our bodies. And listen here, if there's one thing that matters to sensible Americans more than anything, it's gas prices. Even folks that can't afford a car and enjoy huffing the stuff tell me how important it is. I've been on a listening tour of the state. Uh, yes, I'm about family, Bobby June. I've had three of them. Listen, I ain't a big believer in mumbo-jumbo or economics or any of that crap, pardon my French, but gas prices are the very basis of our economy here, which is why, under my govern, under my governing gubernatorialness, uh, why, why, under me, we will ensure gas remains entirely untaxed. After all, I was always taught, what is good for the goose is good for the gander. We're turning the clock. Under me, I'm about jobs and I'm about families. I've had three families and I've learned from my mistakes. I think people know that about me. I've made some bad decisions. And now, I'm ready to do good. Hey. Look, nobody's made more mistakes than me, Bobby, which is why I'm uniquely qualified to run the world's sixth largest economy. Hey, I know how to jump out of a burning building, and I give back to the community. As soon as I heard about so many people losing their homes in that storm in Liberty, I flew out there for a special screening of my latest movie. It was to bring smiles and hope during the bleakest of times. Thanks to all that showed up, by the way, and with our cut of food and beverage concessions, it was a great positive event. I'm a big fan of sticking it in the smoker. Barbecue, uh, tailgate parties, hell, I'd smoke anything. I teach my kids abstinence as well. My 16-year-old daughter will have her friends over to the pool, and I'll swim with them and play keep away, splashing around, you know, having fun, and I use that time to witness to them. I say, girls, this is a fantastic time in your life. You know, you're all so beautiful and burgeoning into womanhood, and a couple of you have developed fine breasts, as I see, and several about to fall out of your swimming costume. But don't do anything stupid that could ruin your life. Boys, they are trouble. Save yourself for your husband. You know, Bobby June, the important thing is that people learn about the decisions they are making in their own lives. And one decision we all gotta make is to stop letting immigrants ruin our economy. I mean, it just ain't right. You cannot get a job right now because foreigners have them. Well, America did not become the greatest country ever by letting foreigners in, and that's a fact. Listen, listen, Bobby June. Listen, all of you. I am not a racist. I said some things, yeah, I did. That was a very long time ago. But there is a difference. If we want this country to be great again, we've got to start fighting wars we can win and stop fighting against crazy folk who ain't going to give up. Which is why I want us to think about invading Europe again. Seriously. How do you mean? Now, I ain't never been one for book learning, but uh, I'm a big fan of history documentaries. And historical television shows us that America is at its finest when we invade Europe. You know something? You're right! Exactly. I mean, we've spent 50 years invading Asia and the Middle East, and it ain't right. Them folks don't want us. They're too different. They eat food that's a bunch of damn paste. So what I'm going to propose as governor of this state is that we plan a massive invasion force and go ahead and invade France. Because if there's one country we can beat in a goddamn arm wrestle, it's them limp-wristed, patronizing cheese monkeys. And I promise you this. I promise you. If Great Britain wants to stand in our way, I'll tell you what, we'll invade them too. Make them start speaking English and everything. USA! Now, I've seen a lot of movies, and, and how often, how often is the world threatened by a creepy British guy? It's never an American. Not never. So I'm saying, if we're serious about fighting terror, and I know we are, we go straight to the source and invade Great Britain. Finish off what old George started back in 1770, whenever it was. USA! USA! USA. That's how we're going to win this war, Bobby June. That's how we can avenge them American lives, by killing every goddamn one of them bastards. Pardon my French, because that's what love is all about. It's really up to everybody to get out there and make a difference. You got to do everything in your power to make sure we win. This is not a socialist country, it's not. This is America. We're nationalists, national socialists, if you will, because our society is our nation. But trust me, this is the most important moment in American history. If we get this wrong, well, we're shit out of luck. Pardon my French. How so? 
Who's that? My producer, Ricky, speaking out of turn again. Don't worry, she's just got a tan. Oh, okay. Had me worried for a moment there. I'll tell you what, because this is it. They are trying to steal our country away. Lawton and all his cronies, all of them cronies in the Capitol. I'm against cronyism, which is why I'm supported by only big American companies who care about things that matter and don't want business bogged down by regulations. Like pension obligations, gone. Environmental concerns, great if we can afford them, but uh, we can't, gone. Affirmative action, uh, what do you think? Hey, hey, coffee over there, what do you think? It's Ricky. Uh, whatever, whatever. What do you think about affirmative action? Hey, you ain't a Lebanon, is you? I mean, uh, ain't nothing wrong with it. Some of my best friends was Lebanons, but it's unnatural and a sin. So affirmative action is gone. Having to hire foreigners is gone. Making schools accept minorities is gone. Subsidizing education is gone. Heck, education will be gone. That's why you gotta vote. It's real change. Change we want. Change back. Because I'm all about families. And families need children at home.